Now let's finish filling in our amortization table. Once you've typed the payment for month one, click on just that cell and use the fill function to drag it down to month 24, since Dixie will be making that payment for all 24 months. Now we need to calculate the interest that she pays in month one. Normally, interest is calculated by multiplying the interest rate times what you currently owe on the loan except the interest rate in this case is the annual percentage rate and we only want one month's worth of interest. So just take the interest rate, the APR, and divide it by 12. Then multiply that by the current balance. But use a cell reference for the balance. You'll be glad you did in the end. So in that first month, Best Buy will take $6.94 of the payment as interest. Now we need to calculate how much of her payment goes towards paying down the loan. She paid $32.92, and Best Buy took $6.94 as interest, so whatever is left will go towards paying for her computer. Simply subtract those two, but again, be sure to use cell references. You'll be glad you did later. And lastly, we can calculate her new balance on the loan after making the payment. Keep in mind, not the entire payment went towards paying down the loan. Some of it was taken for interest. Only the $25.98 went towards paying down the loan. So take her previous balance and subtract this month's principal amount from it to find out how much she still owes on her loan. Once you've done that, we can start dragging down the columns. Click only on the cell that has the formula in the interest column and drag that formula down to month 24. You'll see that it fills in with all zeros for now, but that's just because we haven't finished yet. Next, we drag down the formula for the principal, and again, it's not changing, but that will get fixed. And lastly, when we drag down the balance column, now everything else updates, and you can see that the numbers in the two previous columns have changed. It also shows that we've overpaid by three cents and have a, a balance of plus three cents in the end. Since realistically, they would charge what you actually still owe on the final bill. Since we had paid three cents extra, we'll just subtract three cents from the final payment. As long as it's only a couple of dollars or a few cents, then you can do that to make it work out at the bottom. We're technically done with the amortization table now, but it can be really useful to figure out the total you paid from this, and the easy way to do that in Excel is to use the sum function. To use that, you just type equals sum and open parentheses, and then highlight all the cells that have the numbers you want it to add together and it shows that the total paid on this loan is $790.